Hey, how you doing? Thanks for joining me. In this video, we are going to discuss how to calculate the overcurrent device for an individual capacitor. In the previous video, we discussed how to find the uh, conductor size for this capacitor, and it turns out that it was a number six, good for 65 amps. Now, if this was a general load, we would need to worry about the ampacity of this conductor because according to section 14, that's how we would size our overcurrent was based off the ampacity of the conductor. However, this is one of those uh, loads that's dealt with somewhere else in the code. We can ignore section 14 as far as sizing overcurrents off of ampacity. Section 26 in the CEC tells us that our overcurrent cannot or shall not exceed 250% of the rated current of this capacitor. In the previous video, we figured out that this was a 48 amp capacitor. That's the magic number that we're going to use for every calculation dealing with this, ca or this capacitor. So to apply this 250%, we're simply going to take this 48 amps times our 2.5 gives us 120 amps. Now, when we take this number to table 13, we need to keep in mind it tells us that we cannot exceed 250%. If I was to go with a 125 amp overcurrent, I would be exceeding the 120 amp allowable. So I go down to a 110 amp overcurrent from table 13. I hope this helps. In the next video, we'll take a look at calculating tap conductor sizes for capacitor banks. Thanks for watching.